Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polder. Today we're going to take a look at the Enhanced Compute Engine that's currently available in Preview for Power BI data flows. Let's take a closer look. All right, as mentioned during the intro, this Enhanced Compute Engine, the feature that we're talking about today, is currently in Preview. It's also worth mentioning that this is a premium-only capability. Even though Power BI data flows are available without needing to use Power BI Premium, this current capability is only available for Premium. If you're not a Premium customer already, it's worth watching the video to make sure that you understand what's what, but do please be aware that you won't be able to take advantage of this unless you have that dedicated Premium capacity. And before we jump into talking about the Enhanced Compute Engine, it's worth doing a quick review of query folding, which is a capability that is used by Power Query, whether it's in Power BI Desktop or Excel or Dataflows. It's one of the fundamental things that makes Power Query such a powerful tool for self-service data preparation. And query folding is essentially the ability for the Power Query M engine, this executable compute engine that does all of the data transformation, to allow this engine to push the processing upstream to the data sources that it's using to have both better performance and more efficient utilization of the available resources. The canonical example for query folding is doing an operation like sorting or grouping or pivoting or unpivoting. If we're using a capable, fully featured data source like SQL Server or another relational database engine as our data source, the Power Query engine is, is smart enough to say, I'm doing a sort, I'm doing a group by, I'm doing one of these heavyweight operations, and it essentially will put that into the appropriate query, T-SQL or whatever the query language is for that upstream data source, and it pushes it off uh, for processing at the source so that all that the Power Query engine gets is the result of those operations. By folding that query, and sending it, sending those expensive operations up to that data source, it's a way to have both better performance and reduced load where the query is being executed. So the reason why query folding is an important topic when we're talking about the enhanced compute engine is really the nature of data flow storage. As you know, Power BI data flows store their data in CDM folders in Azure. And a CDM folder is simply a folder in the lake with CSV files for the data and a JSON file for the metadata. And because this is simple file storage, there needs to be some compute engine. There needs to be some process that can implement the logic for sorting or grouping or other transformation options. And without the enhanced compute engine, that process is the M engine, that mashup engine that is used by Power Query everywhere. And without the Enhanced Compute Engine, that M mashup engine is simply pulling in data from the CSV files, operating on them in memory, and then producing whatever the desired output is. When we're doing this without the Enhanced Compute Engine, we are limited to the configured memory for the Compute Engine in our Power BI Premium capacity. By default, this will give us 700 megabytes worth of physical memory, and we can increase or decrease this, but 700 is the default. And if we need to work with more data beyond that limit, beyond that physical memory limit that's configured at the capacity level, what we end up doing, or what the mashup engine ends up doing, is paging that out to, to virtual memory. So it's using the underlying physical storage, and as you probably know, any time that you go from using RAM to using physical storage, you take a big performance hit. So this means that there are some operations that when you get up to a certain data volume, they start to perform much more slowly. And this is where the enhanced compute engine comes in. That compute engine will create a SQL-based cache of the data that is in those CDM folders. Now this is worth thinking about. What the data flows engine is essentially doing is taking the data that's physically stored in those CSV files and it's loading it into a SQL instance that is managed by the premium capacity. It's managed by your Power BI service 
and it is putting that data into SQL tables where the mashup engine can then take advantage of query folding. Because that mashup engine knows the capabilities of SQL as a storage engine and as its own compute engine, it can essentially take all of those expensive operations, the sorting, the grouping, uh, and it can push those down to that SQL engine where they can be performed closer to the data and in a much more efficient way. And from this point on, any time that one data flow query is accessing another data flow entity, so linked and computed entities uh, is the scenario here, any time that one entity is referencing another and the enhanced compute engine is being used, the mashup engine can push upstream all of this processing that would otherwise that it would otherwise need to do in memory itself. Now, how do you set this up? How do you take advantage of this capability? Well, to get the performance improvements that the enhanced compute engine can deliver, there's two things, two things that you need to do. The first one is in your capacity settings, and you need to be a Power BI capacity administrator for a premium capacity to do this, but you can go into the data flows workload and there is a switch to turn on this preview compute engine. Once this is done, that compute engine will be used anytime that you're loading data uh, into your data flow entities. So when you're loading data into the underlying CDM folders, your premium capacity will also create that SQL based cache of the data flow entity data. And from this point on, whenever any time that one entity is querying another, it will be using that SQL cache as its data source. Now this implies a little bit of design work or make some design assumptions. In order for you to get value from the enhanced compute engine, you need to have stages where you're pulling data into one set of entities and then using that for another and another. And this is a best practice for most ETL or most data preparation, where you have a staging layer or staging area uh, inside your data warehouse or inside your data lake. So the enhanced compute engine requires you to use this pattern to load the data into one set of entities and then access the entities from another. Once this is done, you should be able to see some significant performance enhancements. There's no real guarantee for a given configuration or a given scenario exactly what performance enhancement or performance improvement you'll see, but it's not uncommon to see uh, queries that might take a minute, take a few seconds instead, or queries that might take 10 minutes or an hour to take a smaller number of minutes instead. And I'd love to hear your questions and comments. So once you've had a chance to play with this, please let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time.